Prime Minister Vescan Sogstian's death, and Catholicos Karakim II's feast. As 450 delegates were casting their votes in Etchmiadzin, to elect the Catholicos of all Armenians, on October 27, 1999, a group of gunmen, stormed the chamber of the National Assembly of the Republic of Armenia in Yerevan, killing eight parliamentarians and high-ranking government officials, including the Prime Minister, Vazgan Sargsyan, and the Speaker of the National Assembly, Karent Demirchian. Though church canons prohibit delegates' communication with the outside world, during the election process, at around 5.30 p.m., cell phones of some delegates and National Security Service agents, formerly known as the KGB, who were in violation of yet another church canon prohibiting non-delegates' presence in the polling area, began ringing actively. The gunmen had stormed the parliament building, at 5.13 p.m. There were many people in Achmiadzin who were immediately informed of the parliament shooting, before the final outcome of the Catholicos' vote, was officially announced. And some eyewitnesses claim, that Karakin II was among those, promptly notified of the terrorist attack. It appears, that a decision was reached not to break the news before the election was over. Vazgan Sargsyan was known to have intimidated and threatened dozens of delegates, forcing them to vote for Archbishop Karakin Nurasesian. Therefore, it was feared that the news of Vazgan Sargsyan's murder might shift the balance of votes beyond the government's control. After Archbishop Karakin Nurasesian was announced the 132nd Catholicos of all Armenians, the latter addressed the public with a speech. But it was soon interrupted by Archbishop Havnan Deridirian, the current primate of the Western Diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church of North America, who made a couple of unsuccessful attempts to notify the Catholicos elect of the tragic event at the Armenian Parliament. The moment was captured by a video camera. After a brief pause, Karakin II eventually agreed to listen to the young clergyman, interrupted his speech and decided to break the news. Karakin Nurasesian's first address, as Catholicos, 
is probably the most confusing and controversial he has ever made. First of all, his reaction upon hearing the breaking news was as unexpectedly calm as his choice of words to describe the tragic events was inadequate. His use of such an unsubstantial word is sad, in his reference to the consequences of a terrorist attack that practically beheaded the Armenian government and the parliament, his general calmness upon notification and special emphasis that he just received the news suggest that he had had time to overcome his surprise and come to terms with the fact much earlier. Secondly, right after stating that the information about the casualties had not been confirmed, Karakin II publicly reprimands himself for being naive to have made an unverified statement, but seconds later, he goes on to say a prayer for the repose of souls. There are sources that offer more interpretations of the current Catholicosi's reaction to the news of the Parliament shooting. In 2001, a testimonial titled Karakin II, Catholicos of All Armenians was published at www.catholicos.naro.ru, which is no longer active. Here is a fragment. After the death of Karakin I in 1999, Karakin Nurseyan was actively engaged in the election campaign. He promised then Prime Minister, Almighty Vazgan Sargsyan $20 million in exchange for his election. Sargsyan did comply with his part of the obligations, harshly and cruelly. The leaders of Armenia's dioceses were forced to vote for Karakin Nurseyan. Vazgan Sargsyan was killed during the election on October 27, and the National Assembly members were held hostage. It seemed that the newly elected Catholicos would first of all head to the parliament and act as a mediator before the terrorists. However, the euphoria from the victory had obscured human compassion and the patriarch's duty to his flock. They were celebrating the victory all night long, rejoicing over the good riddance of such a major creditor. After Vazgan Sargsyan's death, his brother, Armin Sargsyan, it was his other brother, Aram Sargsyan, TTMPT, was appointed Armenia's prime minister for a short period of time. With three cars full of armed men, the new prime minister soon arrived and Etchmiadzin, entered the patriarch's chamber and demanded that he pay off the $20 million debt. Karakin II, promised to pay it off to the last cent, but asked for an extension. The feverish search of financial resources, led him to an interesting option, the construction of Serb Kach Cathedral of the Armenian Apostolic Church had started in Moscow. Archbishop T. Rankirigian, primate of the Diocese of New Nakajavan in Russia, succeeded in securing an important decision by the Moscow government. $16 million, income tax of organizations in Moscow, which were supposed to be transferred to the city's budget could instead be transferred to the Fund for the Financial Support of the Armenian Cathedral, led by Archbishop T. Rankirigian. The total cost of the construction of the cathedral and the Cultural Enlightenment Center, was $23 million. The money seemed to be flowing into his hands. What about the construction? Most importantly, the urgent debt problem must be addressed first. As for the construction of the cathedral? The allegations in this fragment, are so serious, that there should be a thorough investigation, and commentary from people directly involved in these actions, or affected by them. Karakin II, Archbishop T. Rankirigian, Archbishop Yazros Nersazian, and Aram Sargsian, 